nodding. Welcome to my blog.stampwithelaine.com. Now, last Friday, to celebrate hitting 1,000 subscribers, I announced that I was going to give away 10 prizes. Today is the last day to leave a comment on my video, number 295, which I posted um, last Friday. To enter, simply leave a comment under that video. You can have multiple entries simply by leaving a comment underneath the corresponding post on each of my other platforms on Stamp With Elaine Facebook page, on my blog at blog.stampwithelaine.com or on my Stamp Mount Aussie Instagram account. You will get one submission for each platform, so if you leave a comment you can double, triple or even quadruple your chances of winning. Submissions close at 8pm Greenwich Mean Time tonight. I will announce the winner on Saturday and be in touch with the lucky winners. I must have a guardian angel because this stamp set sitting here is carrying over to the 2017 to 2018 catalogue. I fell in love with the stamp set when it first appeared in the current catalogue 2016 to 17 and it was one of the first stamp sets I bought and I'm really ashamed to admit that sitting here, just sat here, never even having seen the light of day, nor any ink. At On Stage Live, we were given an all-attendee giveaway called Bike Ride. And this coordinates beautifully with sitting here. I'm not sure if I can show you the actual stamps. I can show you the cover of the box and the finished sample. So this is my project for today. I'm going to be using these flowers here. This, it's a two-step stamping method. Um, so there's the outline, there's a separate stamp for the flowers and also a separate one for the leaves. Let's gather the rest of our supplies. The card base is Whisper White Thick and it's five and seven eighths by eight and a quarter inches. That's 14.9 centimeters by 21 centimeters. With the long side at the top score at four and one eighth, that's 10.5 centimeters and fold it in half. The Calypso Coral Mat has been cut at three and seven eighths by five and five eighths. That's 9.8 centimeters by 14.3. The Whisper White standard cardstock, three and three quarter inches by five and a half inches, that's 9.5 by 14 centimeters, so that lays on top. You also need a scrap of Whisper White to stamp on. The inks I'm using are Tuxedo Black Memento Ink, Pool Party, Chocolate Chip, Calypso Coral, and Versamark. You're probably wondering what these images are. Well, they're actually for the cushions. So there's one, a square one, a long pillow, and a round pillow. <clears throat> so I need some markers to colour those pillows in. And the colours I'm using are from the Subtles collection. Calypso Coral, Sa So Saffron, Wild Wasabi and Marina Mist. Embossing powder and a heat tool. We'll do a bit of stamping first. So I need the foam mat, my scratch piece of paper, and the Whisper White scrap. And I've mounted the three cushions onto a H block, I think this is. And I want to stamp that in Memento Black ink. And using the clips of coral, I'm just going to colour in these little shapes. I'll do that off camera because otherwise it will take too long. So there they all are coloured. Now I need the Versamark ink. And I'm just going to put Versamark all over this bit. Bring in my embossing powder and just emboss starting to turn now I need to fussy cut them the 
originally on this card I'd coloured uh, the cushions in and they were all lovely with the calypso coral and the marina mist but when I put the um, the fine tip glue pen the colours all ran into each other so this is a much better way of doing it then once it's dry we turn it on its back and if you want to puff it up all you have to do is just work in little circles on a foam mat on the back of the uh, shapes that you've cut out and then it will break the fibres on the cardstock and pop up like so. So I'll do the others off camera and I'll be back. They are all done so we'll set those aside and do a bit more stamping. I'm just going to put some a post-it note on there ink up my stamp. This has been um, mounted on an e-block. So I'm going to stamp the swing toward the left hand corner about um, two thirds of the way down. You want to leave enough room for the doggy basket. Press that down firmly. As I said before, I wasn't sure if I was allowed to show you the actual stamps and things. So I've pre-stamped this image here and the flowers and the leaves. And now we're going to tackle the rest. So I need to stamp a basket there, the doggy basket. I'll stamp the dog basket here. Stamp the dog on a scrap piece of paper because I need to cut that out and colour it. If you squeeze the lid of the ink pad, the ink from there will transfer onto the lid and then you can use it as a palette. So I'm going to colour in the dog. Fussy cut it. Colour the basket as well. And there's the swing. Now I want to colour in the cushion and another way of doing it is by using a clear block and picking up the ink from your clear block rather than squeezing the lid and transferring the ink on the lid. Then you can use this as your palette pick up the ink from there and I'm going to colour in the cushion in pool party I'm ready to put my dog in the basket and I don't want him sitting on top of the basket I want him sitting inside the basket so I'm just going to cut a slot with a craft knife and then when I pop him in, I can put him in the slot and I probably want to make a little cut there as well, just where his mouth is. And then I can pop his head like that over the basket. It might stay better if I put a bit of glue on the back, mightn't it? So a little bit of glue on the back and then pop him in like so so just a little bit of um chocolate chip there oh there's a bit of blue as well didn't mean for that to happen i'm going to take that stamp ink it up and stamp off a couple of times and also the sentiment just sitting here thinking of you so stamp it about there use that stamp again stamp off Take 
dimensionals on the back of the cushions. do that to the Calypso Coral. And then that layer onto the Whisper White cardstock. So there you have it. Um, don't forget the entry for the prize draw will close at 8pm Greenwich Mean Time and I will pick a winner and announce it on the Saturday. So watch out for it. Thanks for watching and thanks for visiting me today. If you're watching from YouTube you'll find the list of supplies I use below this video in the show more section. Also all the links to the prize giving post on my Facebook, blog and Instagram accounts. Thanks for watching and I'll be back soon. Bye!